we were having parent conferences, and Mindy said, Matt, you, the turtle's drowning. And I said to Mindy, Mindy, we're in a conference. Don't worry about it. And she said, Matt, go save that turtle. And I said, Mindy, do you know how many people tell me in one month that the turtle's drowning? It's always just sitting on the bottom because that's what turtles do. They like to sit on the bottom of the, the aquarium. And she said, Matt, you go save that turtle right now. And so I said, OK, fine. And I have to admit that I sort of teased her a little. I said, I'll go save the turtle. And she said, hurry. Oh, should I run to save the turtle? And I was sort of making fun of her with my sarcasm. And I went to the aquarium. And as I approached the aquarium and got a better look at the turtle, I noticed the turtle wasn't moving. And that did kind of worry me. And I got closer. And I realized that its head was outside of its shell. And usually when they're just sitting at the bottom, they keep their head in their shell. So. I reached into the aquarium, and my arm going into the water made the water overflow, and water was spilling on the floor. But I had to pull that turtle out. And as I pulled the turtle out, its neck was just limp, just hanging there. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. And we're in a parent conference. Mindy is talking to parents about their children. What am I going to do? So I took the turtle out to the breakout space where people wouldn't notice. And I looked at the turtle, and the turtle wasn't looking back. It was dead. And so I thought, oh, what am I going to do? Please, God, just let this turtle live. And I said, rescue breathing. And so I put my mouth over the turtle's mouth, and I gave it a quick breath. And nothing happened. The turtle's eyes were closed. It was just limp. This turtle was dead. And I pushed its throat. And the air came back out, and I gave it another breath. And I pushed its throat to get it out. Because, you know, you, you, you can't really push against its, this is called the plastron. You can't really push against that. So after about four or five breaths, finally it moved its back leg just a little bit. Eyes were still closed, still unconscious. I gave it a couple more breaths, and I let it down. And it, it moved very slowly. It was very lethargic. After about 20 minutes, it opened its eyes. After about another 20 minutes, it could actually lift its head. So then I took the turtle, which was very sluggish, very lethargic. I put it in the aquarium, and he just sort of sank and was really weak. So I stayed with him for another 30 minutes or so, and he looked like he was going to make it. But I thought, well, he's always hungry. I'll feed him. And he wouldn't eat. And that made me worried that maybe he had brain damage. And I let him go at night. And then the next morning, I tried to feed him, and he still wouldn't eat. But by that afternoon, he ate. And look at him now. He's happy and healthy, and he's all better, thanks to wilderness first aid. <laughs> oh, and there's one lesson to this story. Always listen to Mindy, because she's always right. Thank you very much. <laughs>